as you can see, three months of rain have stopped, the sun shines out, I'm just about to start a new project and I've decided to do something for the garden. We're going to be building a picnic bench. I've created the design for the bench using SketchUp and the file is available on my website to download. I'll just point out some of the features here. You can see from the end of the bench that it's of an open design, very easy to walk through and sit down, no clambering over uh, seat support rails which normally go through halfway up. I have uh, a footrest right the way through the bottom of the bench and that also locates two braces to stiffen up the frame a lot. The materials I've used are 4x3s for the main rails, 3x3s for the legs and 4x2s for all the slats for the bench and the tabletop. So it's a, a very substantial bench easily seats 8 to 10 people and there's enough overlap at each end for a further chair to be added to make that up to 12. And although I still like to make good joints the precision doesn't need to be so great when we're working in green oak and it's for the garden. So I'm going to be using some power tools I know some of you are going to be really pleased about that. Now I'm going to be using a circular saw for cutting the shoulders on tenons. I thought this would be a good opportunity to build a crosscut rail to use with my circular saw. I've just started on it, I'll show you what I've been doing. So I started with a sheet of MDF, a little bit over twice the width of my circular saw base. I've cut this one, it's roughly 15 inches long, gives me the scope to, to cross cut easily over a foot. I've attached to that down the middle a straight oak fence to rest the side of the circular saw against and underneath I've glued on a fence at 90 degrees so we can easily line up for a 90 degree cut if that's what we want. The way this works, if we have a piece of wood we want to cross cut, so we want to make shoulders on it, put it up against the fence, move the edge of this board up to our mark out line, clamp the thing down to a, a workbench or a base or something, we rest the front of the circular saw on here, up against the fence, start the saw and run it through against the fence. This works so well because like rail systems I've made a cut off the fence with the circular saw with the blade installed I'm going to be using in it and that's given me this sharp line down here which I just line up with wherever I want to cut and I'll get a perfect cut every time. The only thing I've got to do to finish this off now is put a few screws in just to give a bit more strength to the, the fences. Of course a hole to hang it from would be a, a good idea. And there we go. Join me soon when I start a new project and I'll demonstrate how I use this.